Hello, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I was feeling a little, little tiny, a little bit. A little bit tiny, a little bit hungover. I went out last night with my brother and we had some drinks at a local bar, but whatever. whatever. So the next best thing to feeling better is to go out and treat yourself to some new makeup, skincare, clothes, boots, food. Whatever. I picked myself up some goodies. I got this real technique. Um, this is the Miracle Face and Body Sponge. Now, this thing is huge as hell. Like, I'm gonna be doing my makeup real fast, so I literally can't wait to use this. And it feels so good. It feels nice and soft. I also went into Ulta as well. Did I say Ulta? I think I said Ulta. Um, and I got myself some of the new ColourPop. Um, pretty, what is this? Pretty fresh line. I'm really excited to try this. I got the, um, what is that? The hydro, um, what is that? What is that? Hyaluronic acid um, setting spray. And I also got the Hyaluronic uh, tinted moisturizer in medium dark 14W. And I got some of the concealers, the creamy concealers in medium dark 20W and medium dark. 115W. So, if you guys want to watch me, you know, try something new and kind of see my intake on that, then stay tuned. This has become one of my favorite things to use. I really like the blur that it gives and it gives a nice um, hydration at the same time. All right, so I'm super excited to try this. This is, I already told you guys, the pretty fresh hyaluronic tinted moisturizer, medium dark 14W. It's so nice. It comes in like this little clear type of tube like a pump bottle. This kind of reminds me of the Fenty Hydrating Pro Filter Foundation, so I'm kind of excited. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. I don't know how much to use. I don't know uh, what type of coverage this gives. It says a hydrating tinted moisturizer with skin perfecting lightweight coverage uh, for a fresh, needed, healthy <laughs> looking skin. So prep your skin with the primer, which was sold out, and I know why, because that looked bomb. And you can use a blending sponge, or uh, your fingertips to lightly dab and blend into the skin. So let's get that started. I'm gonna take a little bit. So about two pumps to start. Let's see. Let's see. I'm so scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Open this bad boy up. I'm gonna take the flat side and see what happens. So, so far, it's looking pretty nice. I'm getting excited. All right, so first impressions, looks really nice, gives a natural look to the skin. I'm pretty happy with it. Can't complain, let's move on to the pretty fresh concealer. It's supposed to be creamy, so let's see. Before I move into the concealer, I actually stopped and like took a little break. I grabbed my little Mac Mira and I was like really amazed at how nice and fresh the skin looks. Really pretty and fresh. <laughs> So I did get two shades, the medium dark 115W and the medium dark 120W. I don't know if this thing is gonna focus. <laughs> no, no. Okay, there we go, perfect. Um, so I don't know which one I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna initially try the 115W and if that's a little too light, then I'll kind of blend it down with the 120W. So that seems like a plan. <laughs> Just, all right. Oh, so that is really pretty packaging. Nice, cute, can't complain. Let's see what happens with this shade. Nice, where's this, doe foot applicator? I love those. All right, I don't know how much to use, so I'm just gonna use that for now. Take the pointy part of this fat brush. Fat brush. So right off the bat, there's a huge difference now. I think just to, for the sakes of having two different shades, I think I'm gonna try the darker one on this side because for some reason, I do feel like this one is pulling a little light. Maybe it could be my lighting, I'm not too sure. I feel like 
It's pulling a little light and my freaking eyes are irritated. <laughs> Welcome to allergy season. So I'm back with the 120 and I'm gonna apply that under here. All right, I'm not trying to do too much. All right, so right off the bat, I prefer uh, this color a little bit better. It's a little bit more natural and it just blends a little bit better with this side, but you could definitely keep this to kind of brighten it up if you wanted to, you know? It's your skin, I can't tell you what to do or whatever. As I'm OCD, I'm gonna try to match these up really fast and I'll be right back. I will say, in the meantime, it looks like nothing's on. But, you know, it looks better, but I can't complain. I can't. I'm just gonna tap the extra on my forehead. And this is pretty much as even as we're gonna get. So I didn't see any bronzer or uh, anything like that that I could use at um, my Ulta for ColourPop. I did wanna try like a, like a different setting powder, but again, I didn't see any oil. I saw it was mainly like glosses and you know shimmers and those little glitter eyeshadow things, so. I just don't know. So I'm gonna move on to the La Chef Massier setting powder. I'm gonna use just the older um, e.l.f. sponge that I had because I don't want to ruin or risk ruining the sponge I love right now, which is that big thing. I think this, I think I'm going a little crazy. All right, so we have that on. We're looking crazy. Um, Where's Casper at? Because uh, he's here, okay? I'm gonna let that sit a little bit. And I think I'm gonna try um, to do what Patrick Starr does and dust this off with a little bit of the setting powder. And just, you just wanna smack the sh out of your face. Yes! So I'm gonna take the NC20 and kind of just, you know, do my thing. Perfect, now we definitely need some damn bronzer. So you guys already know I'm gonna go in with my favorite, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my favorite Anastasia bronzer and cappuccino. I'm gonna use the same Kabuki that already has like the setting powder and a little bit of the other powder just so it's not too harsh. So let's go. All right, so now I feel like we're looking a little bit more <laughs> human. You guys already know I'm gonna go in with the little Becca blush that I am obsessed with. My freaking eyes are like going crazy. Or whatever. <laughs> it's impossible to see out of this mirror. Truly impossible. Okay. Trash, JK, JK. All right guys, so I am too damn excited to try this pretty fresh um, hydraulic acid setting spray. Hopefully it could kind of tone this down a little bit, you know, bring it back to earth. I'm gonna shake this up and it says it's a mist. So let's see. I think it's cause it's new. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh my god, this is addicting. What is this? A microfine refreshing setting mist that hydrates for fresh looking skin. I'm supposed to hold it far away. I feel like I want to eat this. This is too damn refreshing. I feel like this even helped my damn eyes. Like, sold. All right guys, so literally this is everything set. This is the concealer, this is the tinted moisturizer, Laura Mercier setting powder, 
Anastasia bronzer and cappuccino and a little bit of NC40 to just dust away some of the setting spray. And then that delicious, awesome mist. I, you know, I really do love the concealers. Love that tinted moisturizer, very natural, but very, it's like, it's just beautiful. I look like I eat vegetables every day. Like, I'm obsessed, <laughs> obsessed. Like, I can't even right now. Concealers, yes, yes. This beautiful, delicious sponge, <laughs> yes. It's like a marshmallow, I wanna <sighs> eat it. Love it. Hands down, if you can't get anything else, definitely get the mist, I love this. I feel like it did make the face look a little bit more natural. It kind of melted everything down and I feel like it gives just a nice little sheen to the skin. So I'm so excited. I finally have some products that I like. Don't know if I'm gonna keep the 115W to highlight because we're going into summer and I don't wanna look like Casper the Ghost. I mean, let's put some of this Tarte oil because my lips are dry. They dry. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. If you are liking this type of content, please let me know down below. If you have any other video suggestions, I would greatly, greatly appreciate to hear them because I love reviewing products. I love Get Ready With Me videos and you know things like that. So again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching and until next time guys, see you later.